Hello? Hello? I hope it's back. Oh, it is back. Okay. Good. Good, good. It's just gone for like a minute. It's... Sorry. My internet's terrible. It is... I don't know what to do about that because I'm not supposed to be upstairs with like stuff going on for remodel in my parents' house. So I'm supposed to stay downstairs right now. So we're just stuck with it with crappy internet for the moment. Sorry. <laughs> But we're back again, so hopefully it's chill. But anyways, we got the narwhal. I'll put the narwhal instead of Sean. Sorry, Sean. I'm gonna keep the two cows for now, though. Oh, I need to get another Hans so I can combine them. That was one of my goals yesterday, I remember that now. But there's the narwhal, very cute. I'll go back and get the water bear before the two days are up. Two and a half days are up. I might get the iconic ugly fish just to have it, but he's not my favorite. I was looking at what this had. This is an alien stuff. I need a Hans. How much is this one? 350. Okay. Premiums. Are they 1250? 1250. And this one's 800. Okay. Here. Joker, you can pick a core squish mallo. Because Ant ultimately won, and we got Ant's Narwhal, so you can pick a core guy. I'm already getting a Hans, though, so I would pick something other than Hans, probably. Unless you just want more Hans. I mean, he's cool. I think this is the only one near the top for this run. I don't know if that's quite square enough. It's really hard to look at this time. Aha, there we go. I think that's as close as I'm gonna get, so we're gonna go for it. For Hans. Okay. Maybe you guys agree. I guess you could each pick one, and we can see if you guys agree anyway. Did I read Hans's thing before? I don't think I read his thing before, his bio. Okay, Hans. Hans is a movie buff. He's seen every movie ever. His favorite snack is popcorn with chocolate covered raisins because when it comes to food, he's willing to try everything. Hans is very open to change and adventure. Okay, cute. Sounds great. You guys want to do another coin flip? Okay, one second. Okay, last time Joker called it, right? So, Aunt, you get to call it this time. And I'll add the source and we'll do it live I guess um, add source there we go okay it's like huge but don't worry about it okay heads or tails ant tails again you guys both like tails let's see flipping 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 Oof, heads. That's unfortunate. It just hates heads. It just, it hates tails, I guess. That's odd. The odds were gonna be that one of you guys would have been right saying tails. So that's just, that's sad. <laughs> unfortunately. Rigged. I don't control Google, so I can't rig it. Google can. Maybe Google hates heads. Okay. And you can, we'll, we'll, we can do more coin flips after I get more coins, but, okay. Joker, which one would you like of the core guys? You want the top right. The cat? The cat's cute. I forgot its name. Cam, maybe? Cam the cat sounds correct to me. Okay. Ah, oh, this time it put a bunch of Hanses on top, of course. Okay. Front over here. The cat is cute, though. There was a SDCC con or San Diego Comic Con exclusive of him in like a hoodie or something, I think, this year. I saw the Squishmallow subreddit going crazy. I think I got him. I got a badge, because I got 10. He's cute, though. I think his, I'm pretty sure his name's Cam. 
Cameron, sorry, I shortened his name for him. Cameron, he loves to jump in and out of boxes and build forts with his friends, Hoot and Wendy. Cam also loves going to the beach to take cat naps with his friends, but is always up for an adventure. Wendy is a frog. Is Hoot a different owl? Cause that's not, that's not Hoot, that's Winston. That's in this machine. That's Winston. This one's Winston. Cameron. Whatever the heck the unicorn's name is, Fifi Hans. Wendy is a green frog who I don't see in a machine right now. So, who in the world is Hoot? You're qu Cam's cute though. That was a good choice. I like the cats, they're cute. Where is a Wendy? I was gonna show you guys Wendy as an example. No, no Wendy. No Wendy's there. She's like almost an OG. Maybe she is an OG. No. Is she not in the game? She's gotta be in I she has to be in the game. She's like an icon. A legend, for real. There's Carmelita. The s'more one is Oh my god, it's Omar. I would die to get Omar. He's my baby. He's one of my faves ever. Omar the bear. He's so cute. Hey, there's um that water bear, the blue water bear. Where the heck is Wendy? I'm so confused. How could Wendy not be in the displays? This is straight up like, oh, there she is. There's Wendy. There's only like one of her in the whole thing. I just wanna look, I can't look at her name. Anyways, bottom left right here, that's Wendy. She's right below an Omar and she's so cute. That's Kevin the koala over there. He's also cute. Um, I don't remember who the Dalmatian is. Carmelita the s'more, Sean the dog. I don't know the lion's name. I think I should, but I don't remember. Malcolm the mushroom. Gordon the shark. Bronk the bulldog. Uh, I should know his name. I have him, the turtle. I have the German Shepherd too, but I can't remember its name either. Avery the duck. I love the duck. You're right, there are a lot. <laughs> oh, Sebi the... Um, crap. Sebi the... Not English Bulldog. The little, the little version of Bulldogs. Not a mint, no. Frenchie. That's a Frenchie. Sebi the Frenchie, French Bulldog. Super cute. Um, I should know that pig's name, but I can't remember it right now. Maui the Pineapple. Trinity the... Some kind of dinosaur. Can't remember what kind it's called right now. I think that's Zozo, but don't quote me on that. The Bigfoot in the top left. That's like most of the ones I know in here. Hey, there's another Wendy. Now I found two Wendy's in the store. Oh, just kidding. This is Benny. The brown Bigfoot right here, that's Benny. That's not Katia, that's, um, that's not Bubba. Crap, she was in one of the Costco special packs. That's Amy the chick. Okay, I'll move on now. Because, let's go try combining my homies. My Hansies need to be combined. I bet I need to equip them all specifically or something. Okay. This is kind of like that other game. Okay. I didn't need to equip them. Yep, sorry Hans. You guys are becoming one Hans. Mega Hans. Okay. Let's see. Where's my... There's my guy. 
He's not that much bigger. He's just a little bigger. So if I want a tier three, I have to get three tier two, or yeah, three tier twos probably. That's gonna take a while. Some people have really big ones. They must have played this a lot. That's Sunny the bee, the bumblebee. Anyways, I'll stop naming them because it's actually probably not great that I know so many of their names. That's Maritza the cactus also though. And Chi Chi the red panda. I'll stop now. Okay. <sighs> Do I want to go get more money? Is the real question. I like money. Let's go get more money. I forgot I could sprint. Let's sprint. Heck yeah. Okay, I need my fishing rod. Oh, I don't have any homies equipped. Okay, cow, cow. I can equip your guys' actually. Let's go narwhal, cat. Why am I only equipping like one? Okay, narwhal, cam the cat. Maria Novella, Cam, and let's go my big Hans. My guy. I guess he is actually quite a bit bigger. Noticeably bigger than um, the tier one guys. Now we're just fishing again, because fishing's fun. Ish. Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised I caught a trout. I'm not that surprised. I've caught trout a, a, a lot. A lot, 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 lot at this point. Oh yeah, I forgot can't I forgot I had a homie that's like thirsty. It looks like their needs actually transfer when you switch squish balls, so you can't just like ignore them and switch them out. Which makes sense. Kinda like well, it's not like Nintendo dogs. It's actually your Nintendo dogs, you can just like ignore them. And they just got like really dirty. And then you felt bad and you took care of them because I may or may not have accidentally neglected my Nintendo dogs a few times. Mostly it was always sad that like you'd be playing Nintendo dogs consistently and like you'd take really good care of them, getting them like groomed, getting them like food and water all the time, playing with them. And then like you'd forget to play for like a week or two and you'd come back and they were just like a mess. And you were like, my guy, I am so sorry. But like you didn't have a place to, like it wasn't like you could be all I'd like to kennel, like drop my guy off at a kennel or like a dog sitter for a week in advance or anything. So like if you couldn't play for a week, that was just like you had to accept that your friends were gonna be struggling with you gone. Like in real life you'd take them to a dog sitter or like a um dog hotel or like a kennel where they can just like be for that time. Or you'd call somebody to come like sit with them at your house. You can't do that in Nintendo Dogs, though. That would actually be a good feature, though. If they... Do they still make those? I don't actually know. They'd have to be on Switch now. I don't think they really make DSs anymore, so they definitely have to be on Switch. And I don't think I've seen a Nintendo Dogs for Switch. Not that I looked, but... I feel like they'd advertise that somewhere. And I feel like I would have seen them at a store and been all, Oh my gosh, they still make Nintendo Dogs? That's crazy. That's so cool, and then I would have bought one for nostalgia, probably. Mostly I just like the commentators in the DS versions drove me nuts. Which I think that was kind of the point, but they made me so mad with like actually having your dogs compete, and I was so bad at it. I did not know how to train my dogs to do well in those competitions, so like I just always lost. I kind of figured it out when like, I tried playing again and I was like, I don't know, 14, but that didn't last very long before I decided to move on to other things. But yeah, all fun stuff, all fun, all fun stuff. I guess that's actually something that's good about Pokemon is that you don't have to worry about your Pokemon like starving or becoming like matted hair because you didn't play. Their hair didn't actually get matted, they just got fleas after a while. Your Pokemon are just like chill though, in their Pokeballs. And you come back and you're all, oh hey, haven't seen you in years, how are you doing? And they're all, I'm fine. 
I'm good. It's like cryostasis almost. There probably is actually a lore reason in Pokemon for why they're just always chill in their Pokeballs. And like why you don't have to take care of them beyond, you know, not tossing their Pokeballs in the trash. And Pokemon games nowadays are not the best. Yeah, I have Scarlet, Violet, and Arceus. I actually really like Arceus. I'm not gonna trash Arceus. I will give some shade to Scarlet Violet because they definitely could have tried harder, but they're still fun. I'll give them that. Pokemon the Pokemon games are still fun, but they could have been better. They could have like they didn't have to be Zelda level graphics wise and stuff, but they could have been better. Like I like Scarlet Violet fine because I just accepted that that was like they were what they were and once you accept that you're like whatever it's still fun but I would have liked it to be better I have also um sword pokemon sword and it's fun I don't know that I love the movement style though that it's like lateral instead of free roamish or like I get that the old ones were more like top view pixel stuff and that was still cool but and I liked those, but I just, I don't know that I love the side side stuff with sword or whatever, like storybook almost. I do think that Scarlet Violet was a little bit more fun in that regard, but sword did look prettier. Sword had good graphics because of the camera focus, I think, being a different angle than usual so it gave them more time to work on oh well if you're gonna be looking at it this way we can make it look different and new and pretty and it worked i liked it i like sword sword's cool i actually didn't go finish sword though i didn't finish sword i do that too often where like i don't finish whatever pokemon game i'm playing even though I definitely- Oh, I accidentally scared the fish away. So, I need to work on that more. I keep accidentally clicking like a dummy. Sorry. pop up that time to tell me to press the button. Seems like some sabotage going on, if we're being honest. Do you play Animal Crossing, Ant? If you play Pokemon games, you must have a Switch, which means you must have Animal Crossing, or you should. You should everybody should have it. It's so fun. I say that, but I haven't played in like, couple months now but I love Animal Crossing and you know Tom Nook is actually a pretty reasonable loan shark I'll give him credit for that I've taken no time at all to pay back my loans and forever and not once has he threatened to take out my kneecaps even though he could have sometimes So, credit where credit is due. Tom Nook is reasonable with his loaning of money. You only played Animal Crossing for a month? You should play it again. Maybe I'll whip, whip it out. I'm not gonna whip it out. I'm, maybe I'll go find my Switch from where I think I already packed it and we can play Animal Crossing one time. Because, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Did I pack? Not today, obviously, because it's really late for me to go try and figure out where I put my Switch, but um, I do like it. And I did have my house paid off, so my house was pretty nice. My island is a mess right now, though, because I was trying to have, like, an aesthetic island, aesthetic island, island or whatever, but 
I didn't start with that goal when I started the game. So it's kind of a jumbled mess right now. It was a good game, so relaxing to play, agreed. Except for when you make a mess of your island with furniture everywhere because you don't have like a plan. And then when you're like, oh, I should plan and like actually make it look nice, then you already have things everywhere. I actually should probably sell some of the things because you can always order, like lots of things you can order back from Tom Nook's terminal or the Nook, I guess now it's the twins or whatever that have the terminal in their shop. And Tom Nook's like always in city hall or whatever, or island services yeah he's always in island services or whatever but you don't really need to keep everything like you did i guess most of the games have had like a recall system like oh i accidentally sold this table but i actually need this table because i changed my style and i want it now and they let you buy it again for full price of course but you know better than nothing to get it from like the catalog versus having to wait for it to show up again months later Oh, you're right. I don't have Nintendo Online right now either. Good point. Good point. Well, we can hold off on that then. Maybe after I finish moving. If you have Nintendo Online after I move, then we can do that then. Or you can get a free trial sometimes. I don't think they do it like Xbox though, where you get it every once in a while. So maybe not. Or I can just show you guys my island, I guess. We could do guest star. You could show, I don't know if, can, if you do guest star, can you show people stuff from like, uh, what's it called? Game capture card? I don't know, actually. I didn't, I don't know how to use guest star, actually. I can figure it out, though, someday. Because then you could just be all, here's my island. And I'd be all, okay. Cool. And then I can show you my island. I think... I don't know if you need Nintendo Island to send, like, gifts, though. I might be able to send you, like, bells. I had, like, a ton for a while because I, um, utilized the stock market. S-T-A-L-K market. Um, for a while. And I went a little bit crazy with the nerding out. And using, like... There's, like, a website where you can organize to go to places with the highest stock prices to sell. Um what you have to make like 600 bells per bundle instead of getting whatever shows up on your island randomly and it was really helpful. I don't know what it's called but I could probably find it again. Yeah we can after I move hopefully. Cool. But yeah you should if you oh you have to have Nintendo online though to do the stock market that way to manipulate it and like kind of cheat by going to islands with high stock prices to sell stuff that you bought for low amounts but it lets you so is what it is you usually have to like give a small donation of a hundred thousand bells to go to those islands anyway so you know fair enough fair enough for them to ask for that when you're going there in and out and it's really annoying to have people come and leave from an island with like the loading screens so, you should have, I guess, 100 bells is reasonable when you're making, like, millions sometimes. I think I made, like, 5 million one time almost. Or something crazy. And I was like, huh. Or, like, one day I did it a couple times and made 5 million. Sorry, 100,000 bells when you're making, like, 5 million is reasonable. Yeah. Animal Crossing's fun, though. I like it. I didn't love all my villagers, though. Some grow on you. Like, you're, like, when you meet them, you're all, you're ugly. I don't like you. Which, like, isn't very nice, but it's how those kind of games work, unfortunately. But then, sometimes, like, their personality, I'm like, as a villager in Animal Crossing, you're not very cute, but you're funny, so we're gonna call it even. But then, there's other ones where I'm like, I don't like your personality, I don't, look how you, I don't like how you look, you are going to be the first one that I get moving boxes in their house and I replace you with a camper. Get out of my island, stupid, ugly Animal Crossing villager, you know? 
I haven't done that to any of them because I don't know how to kick people off of my Animal Crossing island. How do people do it? People are always like, oh, I got rid of so-and-so because I don't like them. And I'm like, how did you do that? Because like, a couple of the ones that I've had from the very beginning, like, I don't even like them that much. But like, people are always like, oh, it's so easy. Just like, harass them until they leave. And I'm like, how? And then they're like, and it's so easy to get the one you want. You just gotta like, keep going to your campsite and eventually they'll show up. But like, I've never had any cool ones show up at my campsite. Like, there's that one that everybody's obsessed with, with like the, it's like the cat with the two different colored eyes. He's got heterochromia and he's adorable and I would love him, but he's never been in my campsite. Not once. I call lies. So, you can tell I'm a little frustrated when people are always like, you can tailor your villa your Animal Crossing Island to have exactly the villagers you want. I think they're full of it. Or maybe they have amiibos and they use the amiibos early. That's the only way I could see it being easy to have the villagers be exactly the villagers you want them to be. I don't see how people like, uh, I don't know. Do you know there's like a black market for Animal Crossing villagers though? I have seen some stuff about people like buying some of the more popular ones. Like they're like, I'll give you like $20 to send them my way. And it's crazy that people are able to like manipulate their game to also have one that's in moving boxes to send to another person's island. Ant, you have no idea how to kick them either. Your island was a mess. That's a mood. Now I wanna play Animal Crossing again. Ugh. I might have to pull up my thing and play one day. I don't have Nintendo Online though, so it'd be kind of weird to be all, here's my island. You guys can't come though, sorry. <laughs> but I could, I guess. Or maybe, hmm. I don't wanna reset though, that would suck. I could just like purge a bunch of stuff from my island though, or I could give it away, I guess. I think you can send gifts without Wi-Fi, so that might be an option. Or without Nintendo Online. I'm not 100% on that. I'll look it up later. I'm always jealous of the people on Instagram that, like, they have their Instagram account that they're, like, dedicated to their Animal Crossing Island, and they have, like, a really nice Animal Crossing Island, and it's, like, so aesthetic. And then they use, like, filters to make it, like, perfectly fit, and they're like, oh, mine's fall-themed. And it's, like, all nice tans browns oranges and like a little bit of mixes in mixed in bits of like off-white and stuff and it's like perfection and i'm like how did you do that like how did you get the furniture to look like that all i get is like yellow wardrobes and green desks or green vanities i think it's a vanity that i have that's green that's like a sweetheart vanity and it's got like a heart-shaped mirror or something but like how do you get like the aesthetic furniture that everybody has do you just get lucky for what shows up in your Nook store? I feel like you must. Or like you must like, I don't know, talk to people online and like trade with them and be all, I'm looking for this bookcase and I have this desk that you're looking for. Like let's go to each other's islands and trade. Oh, Joker said something. Joker, I think it's if you don't speak to them at all, even when they run up to you for a certain amount of time, they'll move. Okay, I think there's a couple that I've never spoken to, and I think they're still there. That's kind of sad. Joker, you should see them be gloomy and walking around with their head down. Then you can speak to them about moving to either prevent them or tell them it's a good idea. Okay. This is new knowledge. Now I'm gonna, like, torture some of my Animal Crossing villagers and straight up ignore them, and we'll see what happens. I'm mostly joking. I don't think I actually hate most- like, I think I hate, like, one, mostly. I don't even remember which one it is, but there was, like, one that I remember making me really mad, and I just- like, I hit him with, like, my bug-catching net a lot because I was frustrated. I feel bad running away from them sometimes. But, like, there's, like, this little mouse with, like, a pink bow and yellow hair on my island who I actually don't dislike. Her personality, like, is kind of cute. Whatever. Um, she grew on me. I didn't think she was a very cute villager, but, like, I like, I like her as a villager personality-wise. So I was like, okay, I'll keep her. But she... Every time she sees me, even if I play every day, or like more than once a day, she always runs up to me, and she's always like, hey, hey, what's up, let's talk, and I'm like, or she, or she, like, I'll be in my house, and she does that thing, where she just forces herself into my houses and all, let's hang out, and I'm like, 
Girl, get the heck out. You just broke and entered. My door should not have been unlocked. Why are you here? Joker, because you had not watched the game for only like a week and you had Apollo threatened to leave. Oh, I like Apollo. He's the eagle, right? I think... I don't think... I think I had him in one of the old games, maybe. But he's actually cute. Do you like Apollo or do you not like Apollo? But anyways, that one little mouse, for real, she's always breaking in my house. And she's always trying to force me to hang out with her. And I'm like, get out of my house. And she's always like, seems sad to be like, oh, are you leaving already? That's so sad, I'll see you later. And then I walk outside and she's like there and she's all, hey, I got you this really ugly t-shirt. You should wear it. And then she gives me a really ugly t-shirt. T-shirt, And I'm all, thank you. Very cool. Which, I shouldn't be mean, because she's actually, like, as far as villagers go, she's actually probably the friendliest, but sometimes she gets on my nerves. She's too friendly. Joker, you like Apollo. You asked him to stay, and then well, he did. Okay, cool. I don't think they actually disobey you when you say, I think you should stay. I think they mostly stay after that. But... When you're all, get out of here. I think they also mostly leave. But, I don't know. I remember, New Leaf or whatever, no. New Horizons, something Leaf. The Leaf one, the one before New Horizons, I think. I had villagers leave and I feel like sometimes they didn't ask me. I just got like a letter in the mail that said somebody left and I was all, I liked that one. Joker, you had one leave when they, you asked them to stay? That sucks, actually. That's really lame. I think that only happened to me in the game before this one. And it did suck. When it was one you liked and it was all, they left and you were all, okay. That's terrible, but thank you for letting me know. Joker, so you have New Horizons then, too. So all three of us have New Horizons. We could all play together at some point. Do you actually keep up with Nintendo Online? I don't. Even though it's literally like the cheapest gaming subscription of them all. And I just... I don't, I, I don't maintain it anyway. Even though it's not that expensive. It's like, what, 20 bucks a year? So, of all the ones that I actually have, it should probably be that one over like Wizard 101. That's minimum 60 a year if you get it on sale. And don't even ask about Xbox. Oh my gosh. Xbox subscriptions go crazy. Especially if you want Game Pass, because Game Pass is so nice. And it feels silly to get like gold, but not Game Pass. Like, it feels like you have to upgrade to Game Pass when you- yeah. Joker, your dad pays for a family account and has me and his family. Oh, that's cool. I've heard that that's a good deal. Like, it's like, what, 35 for five accounts or something? Maybe I should convince my siblings to do that. Because then we'd have, like, three accounts. My sister doesn't have a Switch, though. She has an account, but not a Switch, because she used to play on my family one, which my brother basically, like, kidnapped. So actually, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. She could buy one, though. She could... I'll convince... Maybe I'll just have to convince her to buy a Switch. Complicated stuff. I think my best friend has a Switch, though. Maybe she'd want to be in my... Nintendo online family. Maybe. I think she has one. I feel like we're friends, but I don't think we've actually ever played anything together. Now that I'm thinking about it. That's kind of weird. How many fish do I have? I've just been kind of doing it while I'm talking. Ooh, I've got a lot. That's got to be quite a bit of money. Aunt, you love Game Pass? Bunch of games to play, yeah. 
Game Pass is a good deal. I'm gonna go sell my fish. <laughs> a crown for it? Agreed. Okay, let's go sell my fish. Let's see how much money I made doing that forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I wonder if there's any secret seashells back here. I don't think many people walk back here. There's not, that's lame. Maybe there should be, honestly, as like a secret little surprise, like a golden seashell spawns back there, would be cool. Da da da. Hello, Bob. Buy my fish. Buy my fish. I would like to sell all of them, Bob. Gosh. All of them. Yes. And how about all of them? I got like stacks of Squishmallow cash now. We're gonna buy so many. So many. Okay. I should be able to teleport there. Did I just throw my fishing pole? Put the fishing pole away. Maybe it'll work then. The map does not work. The map is broken. Okay. Just kidding. We'll sprint there. You're gonna head out and have a great rest of the stream. Thanks. Have a good night. Morning. Afternoon. It's night for you. So have a good night. <laughs> and see you soon hopefully sorry that all i'm doing is playing squish balls today maybe i'll play a horror game tomorrow and cry it'll be fun but yeah have a good night thanks for hanging out chatting chilling we'll play animal crossing eventually maybe after i move in october which is kind of far but still what is that emote that's cute Bayou Chaos? I don't know who that is. I'm gonna click on it. Who is this person? Bayou Nay. Well, I like the email. That's cute. They're actually a really good artist. That's pretty sweet. Anyways, good night to Ant. Joker, do you want to pick a Squishmallow? Let's get a premium. There's a lot to choose from. There's Connor the cow, Bubba the cow, Katie the cow. I have all but Connor so far. This clownfish, this octopus, this whale, this gray cat, a hamster, a German shepherd, a dragon, a lion, a monkey, a dinosaur, and a catacorn. But you get to pick a premium. Squishmallow. They're more expensive so far. don't have those the best if you own all of them then Nemo I don't have a lot of them but we'll go for Nemo the clownfish hopefully it gets in a good position to get that let's see um I think this middle one's gonna be the easiest perhaps I might already be over it let's go for it Probably get the cat. Uh, a cow. There we go. Got one. I don't remember his name. Let's find out. Ricky. Living up to his species, Ricky knows how to make all the other mallows laugh. Catch him at his next open mic night and see for yourself. Okay, that's pretty cute. I like his. His bio is adorable. Ooh, money. 
Um. Okay. I'm gonna get another one. Which one do I want? I should get Connor. I should actually get this. I should get these two also, I guess. Let's get Connor first, if he's in a good spot. Which he might not be. Oh, there's one in the back. Okay. I think I'm over him right now. I think I'm perfectly over him, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. No! A dinosaur. Stupid Derek. Didn't want him. Okay. Well, I'll embrace the fact that I didn't have him yet. Derek is a curious explorer who enjoys taking epic backpacking trips with his friends. He always comes back from his travels with inspiring tales that make other models want to go out and explore. Derek dreams of conducting global expeditions that shed light on uncharted corners of the world. Want to travel with Derek? Question mark. Well, he's at least kind of cute. I'll give him credit for that. How much are these ones? 1500 I didn't realize they were that expensive. I don't know who this person is. Oh wait, Hello Kitty. I think I do know Hello Kitty, maybe. Let's see. No, I don't think I know Hello Kitty, just kidding. I'll say hi anyway. Okay. Um let's get the let's get the water bear this time. He is Now I'm stressed because I didn't actually get the dino. I was so successful with these claw machines before. That's the first time I've gotten one I didn't need to get, but there's like three stacked right here. So I think we've got pretty good odds of even if I miss a little bit, still getting one of the water bears. Which I'm gonna get the ugly iconic fish eventually. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see what his name is. I only know Mooney. Misco, okay. Meet Misco. He plays guitar and has toured the world performing with his bands. When he's not writing music, you can find him trading stocks and playing video games. His favorite food on and off the road is pizza. Do you want to grab a slice? That's pretty cute. I like... That's a good bio, too. I need to get more multiples, though, so I can get more made into big guys. How much was this again? Let's see. 350, so I could get two right now. Or I could get one of these featured guys. Let's get, let's go for, what do I have? I have, wrong thing. Homies, homie, okay. Um, who's in this? I have Hans, and I have the unicorn, and I have the cat. Okay, let's get two more cats. Let's, you know, go for it. We're gonna make Cam into a big Cam. Well, slightly bigger Cam. I think the one further back is gonna be easier to get. I don't have much of a basis for this, but yeah. I think that's pretty square see if I'm correct. Yes! Cam. There's number two of Cam. Just need one more, and then we can combine. Yep, already read his bio. Okay, Cam number three. Let's get him. We're gonna go for this one by the window. I think that's solid. Heck yeah. Okay. Three cams. Done. Now we can make him tier two also. Okay, let's hustle up. This is probably gonna be the last thing I do because it's actually really, really late right now. And I should probably go to sleep. But let's make cam. A big cam. Bigger cam. Okay, cam one, cam two, cam three. Yes, I'm sure. 
da da da. Cam the cat is about to be tier two. He's bigger now. So cute. Okay. Now I've got two core squishmallows that are tier two. Hans and Cam. I should probably be working on the tiers of like the limited time ones, actually, I guess. That would probably be smart. The featured guys and the last chance. Because once they're gone, I'm not going to be able to tier them at all. Unless I trade for them. Or buy them somewhere. But look! Now it's just my little narwhal guy smaller. But we'll get him bigger later. It's a workout. Okay. What are their needs? Go dance and hungry. Okay. Well, I don't have anything to do with those right now. So we'll deal with that next time. If it's still the same next time. Avatar. I can edit my avatar in this. That's wild. Earnings. I can sell stuff. Earnings. I'm so confused about that, but anyways, tier 2 Cam, tier 2 Hans, and then I have Mariana Vela, um, Misko, Bubba, crap, I don't remember the clownfisher's name, I already forgot it, I should know it, I don't remember, I don't remember this one's name either, I just thought it I don't think I've known the unicorn's name this whole time. Kadia and Sean. Yep. Okay. Well, anyways. I'm gonna go to sleep because it's like really late. But thank you for playing, hanging out, chatting, um, all of that. Also, shout out to, I don't know if Zim's here. I don't think he is, but thank you to him for subscribing yesterday because my alerts weren't working yesterday so i didn't see it until after stream but shout out to zim for that very cool of him <laughs> and um yeah i'll maybe be back on tomorrow i might switch to wiz for at least part of a stream tomorrow although i also want to play like some roblox horror games so we'll see what shake what how things go down what shakes out i don't remember what shakes out means but it's like one of those references that people use when they talk about how things go. You know? Yeah. Anyways. Have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you tomorrow to hang out, chat, play, all of the above, none of the above, whatever. Mostly chatting. I like chatting. I think chatting's fun. <laughs> um, and yeah, thanks for chillin'. Ciao.